it started with uh, my dad had cousins up in uh, was it Galt, Galt. Ontario, mm -hmm. Canada, and he used to go spend part of his summers up there. And his uncle Marty had a, a carpet. Uh, he used to clean and repair rugs. So he he learned the carpet business, you know, as a young young fellow with his cousins helping out. When he got back from the the army, he went up for a few weeks, I, I suppose, and uh, he came home and he decided he was going to open up his own carpet business. And uh, so that's what he did. They had a garage in the in the backyard to, to, for tools and store carpet and that. And um, so that, that's really how it one of those early garage stories <laughs> of how a business evolved. Mrs. Torigian owned the properties out on the on Pine Avenue. Now, I don't know how it evolved, but she she rented out that the first cottage sized place to my dad. Then she decided to build the plaza, and uh, and he he I mean we're going back to the that was like the mid fifties, early sixties, and business was growing. I mean, he did very well. He used to run full page ads and word of mouth was big and uh, and he needed more space. So a friend brought him here and says, I want you to take this space. It was too good to pass up. And at that time, from what Dado used to say, it was prime. This was a prime yeah. spot because it was the middle of the city, yeah. 56th Street downtown out to 100th street it's right in the middle so had, everybody was, went right. this way so you had the city and, and no the there south. was no military road business then so all the traffic was on uh, niagara falls boulevard or pine avenue tony and i growing up were always close and then i moved away when my dad worked at niagara mohawk and the show call collapsed so to keep a job we had to move the olean southern tier and he kept his job and then I would come home like summers or, and Tony would go there to visit me two, three weeks at a time. And then one summer came back here and I don't know, we were like 14, 15 and we're in here just messing around and moving rugs and we used to wrestle on the carpet. When my uncle, Tony's dad said, okay, if somebody comes in, you gotta go in the back room. We'd fly to the back room, wait till they left and come back out. And that's how we ended up getting involved. And when I graduated from high school, came here and lived with Tony's family and went to community college. And from there to get here in 73, we didn't have a car, we used to hitchhike. So we'd hitch a ride, come here at work, right? Fix rugs in the back room, hand sew them, you know, when they were torn and all that repaired and that just kept escalating and one day one of the boys or they had an install and they didn't they couldn't come in and it was two bedrooms and so Tony and I says well we'll go do it they, my uncle and Ed were laughing and we got to the job and it was history after that I just he was a great dad turned out to be an incredible uh, boss, you know. There was a lot of life lessons he taught us through the business, you know, and, uh, and to value each other, you know. And uh, it'd be, life would be a lot harder if one of us was missing. The business and the family comes first. I was treated like a son, you know, and we came equal partners in the business. And when we took over in 92, and it was an easy transformation because the way he did it and everything that he did back then still works today. The importance of those lessons and growing up in a family business, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just become even more important today to me 
I think pretty much if you look at all the families of my genera our generation, we were, we were made aware of the history of our ancestors. And I think you probably have sensed it, that it's a very proud community to this day. The generations that are still here know the history and are proud of it. And, uh, and even my daughters, you know, our, our children, they understand it. They, they understand that there isn't very many Armenian people left, period. So embrace your culture, your history, and, and try to perpetuate it to the next generation. Thank you.